So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to try to explain React Router v6 in under 3 minutes. So this is my React application with React Router v6. And basically, you need to import browser router as router, so you can use it as router, component, routes, route, and link. So this is imported from React Router DOM. So if you go to terminal and need to install that, you can do that by running the command npm install react-router-dom at 6 dash dash save. Now that's going to install React Router v6 on your project. So here now you can use all of those components imported from React Router DOM. The next thing you want to do is create the pages which will be used in the navigation bar. So here in SRC folder, I also have pages folder. And here I have four different components, each representing a page on my router. So here I'm importing about component. Here I have home page component. They're all pretty simple and exactly the same with just different names. So Going back here, you need to import those pages as components from this pages folder. And here's what I'm doing. And so down here in the router component, I have navigation. And this is where you use the link component to link to all of those pages that we created. And here in the to attribute, this is where you specify the URL you want that route to go to. So slash is the home page, slash about, and slash contact, respectively, going to those pages. And now the actual routes are set up below. So here, the routes wrapper, and inside this routes wrapper, you will use the route component imported from here. So route path URL, and here it's the same URL that we used in the link, that's important that they link to the same place. So here about and contact links to the to from link component. And so you want to use element attribute to specify the component which you want to open on that URL. And for the error, you will use the star. And error is a, the star is a special location basically if your React app cannot find that route, it's going to go always to that page. And so the last thing, whenever you click on those navigation links on your React view in the browser, only the content inside the routes wrapper will change. The footer will stay the same. It's not dynamic. Only the pages inside the routes wrapper are dynamically updated. Everything else stays the same.